Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing just like a chit chat video and yeah, I've been away from YouTube for quite a long time. I haven't filmed anything in the last month or so and I'm not proud of it. I wanted to get back like, you know, talk to you and you know, just get back in a routine but there's been so much going on and yeah, I'm not happy about it. Um, I definitely need to be more on schedule uh, when it comes to filming and all that and I am planning to work on that in the next year, beginning next year, which is like next month uh, because December already started. So, so yeah, a lot has been going on and because of that my schedule is just really messed up um, when it comes to my YouTube. I've been trying to uh, be more active on Instagram. so. If you've been following me there you can see I've been posting a lot more over there so if you want to know where I am and what I'm up to uh, in between my YouTube videos uh, do follow me on Instagram I'll leave a link to that in the description box below now I did film a makeup tutorial today for you guys um, this is the look and I will be sharing the tutorial on Instagram and also on YouTube very soon with all the makeup product details and all of that. So watch out for that. So you all know whenever there's like a Sephora sale, I always do a Sephora haul video where, you know, I mean, we all love shopping at Sephora and especially during the sale. And I always end up getting some products which I share with you guys and talk about them. But this time when there was a sale going on, there was like a Sephora Rouge 20% off sale, I decided not to go overboard. Um, initially, I even decided not to get anything because to be honest with you, sometimes I get so many products and I never get a chance to actually use them. But when the sale started, there were a few items that I needed or I wanted to get my hands on. I did end up getting some, but again, it wasn't enough for me to do like a big haul video. Therefore, I was a little confused what I should do. But then today I decided that, you know, I need to say hello to you all. It's not a big haul video, but I'll still share with you the items that I purchased. And uh, there is one or two things that I might want to exchange or return. Um, I'll talk about that too. So yeah, I think we can just get started without me just blabbering on about just nothing. Yeah. Now you gotta understand when you get back to filming, it's not easy to talk in front of the camera. You know, if you're doing it like every other day, you know, you're in the you're groove, sort of, you're in the routine, you, you, you're in the habit. I can, I think that's the best word to use, habit. Uh, but when it's after so long, uh, it kind of feels awkward talking to yourself in the room in front of a camera. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little awkward. Now, some of these products I didn't purchase during the sale um, and a few actually not even from Sephora. Now I still wanted to talk about them so I included them in the video and again I don't have as much products to show you anyways. So I'll start with this palette. This is the NYX Cosmetics uh, Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette. I bought this from the NYX store and um, if you're familiar with Yorgil Mall, they have a very nice NYX cosmetics store there. So I purchased this from there and this was not a planned purchase. I was actually walking past the NYX store and I saw like a board or something about sale uh, at the store. So I just walked in just, you know, browsing, going through the makeup stuff and they have very nice stuff there. Um, I had not even heard of this palette to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not saying I know everything about makeup like I mean there could be products and things that I don't have any clue about so this was one of that um, I saw this I tested it out I was just really impressed this was 24 Canadian dollars now for the quality of the shades I was just literally blown away by how pigmented they were and and the quantity as well I mean they're not they're not like a, it's not like a tiny palette for 24 bucks it's a great great buy but the best part was the sale so I don't really exactly remember it's been so long you've already seen me do a tutorial with this uh, so I don't exactly remember um, what the sale was but I remember getting this for less than $20 so I mean I could not not buy it so this is the um, palette they have like five um, palettes 
perfect filter palettes no they're all called perfect filter or no they have like five of these perfect filter uh, palettes and they all have different names and they have a different combination of shades honestly speaking they're all so so beautiful like this one is amazing i know but the rest of them are like every single palette is beautiful this is just hard to open for me with the nails so yeah look at the shades here and this one is called olive you you can see there are some shimmer shades like a shimmer foil shades and then they have the mattes here um i cannot rave enough about this palette it's so good the pigment is so so nice it's so pigmented the shades are so beautiful so nice so this is a beautiful purchase i think one of my favorite purchases I, I was gonna swatch this for you but if you want to see how the shades are and how they work i mean it's better for you just to um go look at my tutorial uh, i'll link it down in the description box below the next purchase again you've already seen this um it's the sultry palette by anastasia beverly hills again this wasn't like a planned purchase i was at the sephora yorkdale, yorkdale store and um uh, Anastasia herself the queen um, she herself was visiting the store and I purchased this and I actually got her to sign it which is just amazing um, yeah she's such a nice lady so down to earth so humble so her like persona she's so elegant uh, so it was an it was a very good experience to see her to meet her i did stand in the line for her so it was a good experience it was good um i was really happy about that so this was the uh, palette i bought that day it is as usual as uh any of the other anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palettes it's gorgeous it's beautiful the shades are very pigmented you can see there's this um black shade here I feel like whenever you have a good black shade in a palette you're like good with the like you can have the whole makeup look with this one palette uh, black is such an important shade for you to do a formal eye makeup look and I'm really glad that they have this uh, in the palette and then you have the shimmers and there's um, other brown and like this light matte shades you can use this this one which is slate and the shade birch i use these both as transition shades they're amazing um i also use this uh brown shade in the outer corner of the eye and also again the black now this eyeshadow palette doesn't have like a big huge variety of colors uh, or shades um you get just really basic shades that you would need for formal eye makeup look i think this eyeshadow palette is like perfect for someone who's getting married and they know the kind of makeup looks they're gonna do right after you know when you're uh, dressing up like every day especially in the desi wedding when you're dressing up every day in these nice fancy clothes um this is like a perfect eyeshadow palette for that um you have the again the brown and the black matte and you have the transition matte shades you have this really nice light pink as well uh, you can use that for daytime and then you have these shimmers so this is again a gorgeous palette i love it and currently i have it on my eyes right now so this eye makeup look is all from this palette A tutorial for this i'll be linking if i upload it first i'll link it down below if not just watch out for it i'll be uploading it soon I got myself the Huda Beauty Overachiever uh, Concealer. This is in the shade Nugget. That's what you would call it, Nugget. Well, it's not Nugget, it's Nugget. So this is the one. So this is the concealer. This is the tube. I was actually expecting it to be a little bigger. Probably from looking at the you know tutorials and stuff i was just expecting it to be just a little bigger than this tube anyways this is how it looks it has a metal top i'm gonna just put it here 
so this is the shade I wanted to get it a sh just one shade lighter than my my uh, foundation yeah it's pretty similar to the Tarte shape tape I mean the consistency it's very similar it's like it's creamy, liquidy, but it goes on like really thick. And it's already set. But once I use this on my face, like under the eyes and stuff, I would know how it actually works. But from just swatching it, I can feel like it's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. It already set really nicely. And then I also got myself the Jouer Longwear Lip Cream. I have no idea what it looks like because I don't remember. Yeah, the shade name is Bellerine. Pretty nice. That's the shade. This is the shade. Again, the shade name is Bellerine. I like it. It's like a really nice um, pinkish nude shade. And God, it smells so good. It smells like cupcakes, like vanilla cupcakes or cream cheese. Oh, so good. So, so good. I feel like eating it, but yeah, it's such a pretty shade. So, so pretty. So hard to find good new shades. I mean, it's not hard, but for your own self, like, you know, when you're looking for like a pinkish nude, it's hard to find. You can find like nude nude shades, like really dull nudes, but sometimes the pink nudes or the rusty nudes are hard to find. So whenever I see a good nude shade, I just pick it up. Like, and this smells so good. So yeah, that's the Jouer Cosmetics uh, lip cream. Now, I also went in and got me this Holidays Always On Liquid Lip Set by Smashbox Cosmetics. Yes, so this was $36 and then I got the 20% off. So that's why probably I just got excited and the package was really cute. And I thought, you know what, I need this. Uh, but I see from here, they, uh, the package has three matte shades and then there's three shimmer metallic shades so like i'm not a huge fan of metallic shades but um this one um there's one in there that seems really good so these are the shades very very pretty so i'm gonna swatch these for you here so i tried to clean my head as best as possible and i'm gonna start swatching these so this is the smashbox Always on liquid lipstick in the shade Misconduct. I actually really like this. It's such a pretty shade. It's uh, it's dark, like a wine shade. It's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. Yeah love this one then this next one i'm swatching is man eater it's like a metallic red this is the one here yeah it's metallic now you can see actually the the top one is not metallic this one but it's drying up so just gotta give it a second and then I have a very nice nude shade it's called stepping out this is the one so this one is very pretty like a brown nude shade uh, I think more like you can say who the beauty is Venice it's very very nice very nice. A little lighter than Venice, but it's still very, very pretty. The next one is a metallic shade. This is Exo Vlada. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but here it is. So interesting. This is like a bronze metallic shade. 
like a nude metallic, like a nude bronze metallic shade. I don't know what I'm saying. You can tell, right? This next one is another nude shade, more like a peachy nude. It's called Babe Alert. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. It's very pretty. This one here. Oh, this one. Very pretty. It's actually like a pinkish nude. It's very, very pretty. I'm actually loving each one of them. Like this is, a, I feel like it's such a good purchase. Like none of the shades that I tried up till now. Um, like I love each one of the shades. So, so pretty. Now what's this one called? This is Rust Fund. It's so funny the names they give um, um, these lipsticks these days. It's Some of them are like, I can't even say them in front of anyone. Um, they're quite um, scandalous, like the names. So this one here, it's like a metallic shade again and the name of the shade is again it's rust rust fund so yeah as the name says it is a little rustic like a rustic uh, metallic shade so yeah these are the shades that you get in this smash box always on liquid lipstick now trying it out on my hands and looking at the swatches i feel like it's a very good purchase like you know when i opened it i was like i don't know what i was thinking i never really you know i buy the metallic shades but i never end up using them much but they these are gorgeous like these are beautiful and what else so yeah i also got this mac cream sheen lipstick it says it's called cream in your coffee um, so yeah sephora now sells mac as well so if you have like a sale going on and you want some MAC products, you can get them from the online store or the bigger Sephora stores. This is the shade. I'm not going to swatch this one. Sorry, I have my hands full, literally. Um, so that's that. Um, another thing that I got my hands on and i don't know why i did that because i had actually decided i wouldn't be um splurging on this one this is the nude huda beauty eyeshadow palette here's the thing um i had decided i'm not gonna go ahead with buying more makeup makeup that i don't need i thought i didn't really need this um the sale came on and at that time I was just thinking when I was placing an online order I was thinking you know what I'm gonna get this and then later think about it you know um, Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes are quite expensive they're they're not cheap um, this is like I think 95 bucks so yeah I just checked it's 85 Canadian dollars which is not cheap for an eyeshadow palette it's very very expensive um, I'm not saying that it's not worth the money it is worth the money because of the quality of the shades and all that I, I always like Huda Beauty products but you know what I cannot just buy every single product um, that I see online or you know whatever is launched because sometimes you just have to give it a break I wasn't gonna get this but then again I purchased it because I thought you know what if I decide later on that I want it then I won't have the 20% off so just to use the 20% off I got this and I thought you know what if I don't need it I won't open it and I will return it but now that I have it in my hands I don't want to return it I'm not getting anything for a few months now I'm just gonna use all these products for tutorials and stuff this looks so pretty gosh this is so pretty Ooh, Huda Beauty packaging is always so pretty wow 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 it's even more beautiful in person Oh wow. Do you guys want me to swatch them? I don't want to swatch them. I don't want to ruin them. 
No, you know what? I'm gonna swatch them for you. Let me just go ahead and wash my hand and then I'll come back and swatch them. But I don't want to. They're so pretty. Oh my god, look at the shades. <gasps> the glitter. Let me go wash my hand and then come back and swatch just three of the shades. Let's get on with swatching this beauty. So I want to swatch this very nice shade. It's called Love Bite, this shade. Such a nice shade. It's more like a plum, plum shade. Then I also want to um, swatch this next to it. This glittery shade, which is Fantasy. And I want to swatch this um, very nude shade which is called teddy such a pretty name so yeah let me swatch this love bite first ah, it's like a powder cream so pretty um, so this is the shade love bite now I know it seems a little chunky one thing, I just rubbed my skin so bad because um, I had the liquid lipstick on. It was not getting off. So you can see my skin is very dry. Um, so probably that's why it's going on a bit chunky. Also because the shade, um, the texture is very creamy powdery. So the chunks are actually very creamy. They're not like, it's not like a dry chunky um, shade. And I'm going to go over it one more time. So yeah, that's how it looks. I tried to get the swatch as best as possible. Again, my skin is very dry. Um, I don't know. I think maybe in the in the camera it doesn't look as good the swatch, but I can just tell looking at it, it is very pigmented. Again, it's a light color, light shade. Most of the shades in this palette are light, um, like not like very dark dark shades, and. Um, not very dark dark shades um and i can just tell this is gonna go on the eyelids really nicely because it's very creamy now i'm gonna go ahead with the fantasy so i'm gonna swatch this Ooh, so pretty so pretty focus my camera so this is it's actually darker than i was expecting it to be um you see the metallic shine so pretty so so pretty so it's not not like a glitter glitter it's like a foiled tin foil shade so pretty wow um then i'm gonna swatch the shade teddy again another really pretty shade here i got the mark jacobs pencil this I actually got it in a store. So this Marc Jacobs pencil, eye pencil, was actually a recommendation by someone on Instagram. I don't remember the person's name or I would have credited them in the description box. But um, but yeah, so this is like a really nice pinkish white shade that you can use in your waterline. It's called Pink of Me. They have a couple of shades in this and um, the reason I actually really really like it is I've already used it actually um, I the reason I actually really like it is because um, It's not chalky and you know how your waterline. I mean, it's it gets watery and um, Sometimes when you apply something in it um, It sort of washes out washes away um, This doesn't like it stays on all day and it looks very very natural so it doesn't give you a very fake waterline it gives you a very natural natural naturally pinkish looking waterline yeah so it's called highliner matte gel eye crayon um, and the shade is pink of me it's really good i'm gonna be trying out other shades in this as well because that's how much i like it actually you know what i'm just realizing that i still have some products that I didn't receive in my mail yet. So in Toronto, there was like a Canada Post strike going on and we weren't receiving packages. And when the strike ended, 
um, all the backlog packages they literally started dumping them um, and we were receiving like boxes and boxes of stuff that we had purchased in the previous weeks so um, I think the some of the products have not made it um, to my address yet I remember I purchased the NARS concealer NARS uh, concealer and I did not receive that yet okay so here's what's crazy um, I'm looking at the receipts and I can see that I also got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette uh, so I was supposed to get it for my family someone in the family someone's birthday I was getting it for that I previously purchased one for the giveaway I just recently did on Instagram and then yeah um i think when i was making those purchases i decided to get one for myself as well it's funny because it is the most one of the most popular eyeshadow palettes of all times and i've done a giveaway two giveaways with that eyeshadow palette but i don't own one i don't know why i never got a got around to getting it for myself so apparently i bought it for myself too so i'm waiting on that i'm also waiting on the nars radiant creamy Con creamy concealer and i'm also waiting on the fenty beauty by rihanna stena lip paint i hope you enjoyed this video i know i'm just literally all over the place with it um i just wanted to come and film this for youtube like you know just say hello to you um it's been a while so i've had too long of a break yeah, hoping to see you all in my next video. Until then, bye.